Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're going to look at how you can program a flight using the uh, flight planner in an Airbus H135 uh, helicopter. Uh, the helicopter is currently located at the uh, Courchevel Airport. As you can see, it's uh, snowing. Uh, so let's go uh, inside the air. Inside, inside, I would say inside the aircraft, but it's inside the helicopter. And then uh, let's start program the, programming the flight. Uh, for those who don't know how to start up the helicopter, uh, click on the link above, uh, which contains a video which I posted uh, earlier, how to start the helicopter. Uh, for now, we're going to make some small adjustments uh, to it. And we're going to switch on the cabin lights. Uh, as you can see, you can do it uh, using the button here, but it's already on. And uh, this is the instrument lights, which is also switched on already. Uh, makes it easier if it's a little bit dark like uh, it is currently with the snow. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to go to this uh, screen. Uh, you can either use the left one or the right one. And um, if you're used to it, uh, probably some of you have seen this screen earlier on in other uh, airplanes. Uh, this is a specific button for the uh, helicopter. Uh, same thing is for the lights, the doors, and the searchlight, and the AP button. Uh, but the the focus is currently in this video will be on the flight and you will have a few options there right so the first thing what you can do is you can uh, go to the nearest airport intersection VOR and NDB directly by clicking on nearest and then uh, selecting airport and then it will show the airports which are I would say close by so for example Robert uh, Melos or uh, Falls Rons is in the neighborhood so if you click that option then you can say Either I want to go directly to it, or I want to insert it in a flight plan, or I want to uh, show it, show the airport information. If you click on show airport information, it will simply give you the location of the airport. Uh, in some cases, the uh, the elevation and the time, and the view and the, and the public. And uh, this means, okay, hey, uh, there's an option to refuel, and it's a public airport, so it's not a military airport. Uh, frequencies. If the airport has frequencies, uh, those will be shown here. And the same thing is for runways. Uh, runways, well, most most airports have a runway. Uh, you will be able to see it here. So it's runway 27 and runway 9. And uh, these are the lengths of the uh, runway, or the length and the uh, width of the runway. So that's one thing you can do. So to go back, you can simply click on the back button. So let's assume that we want to go uh, to uh, Volteron's uh, directly but first want to have a look at the I would say the surroundings you can click on uh, show a map and if you click on show a map it would normally uh, show it on the map uh, directly uh, as you can see it doesn't show it here uh, so maybe it's here let me have a look at it it's probably on a D map uh, and a D map you can uh, zoom out or zoom in but that does not directly show it. So let me check. It's also not on the VFR map. So I'm not sure what that option actually does. Uh, if somebody knows it, uh, feel free to add the, uh, let's say the information uh, in the comment box. So for now, uh, we will leave this option as is. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna plan a direct flight to it. If we want to do that, we're gonna press the letter D and that will show us, okay, hey, uh, we're gonna, do a direct to uh, Valteron's airport uh, from uh, Courcheval. I'm going to say activate. And once we've done that, and we'll we go back to the flight plan, you will see that it has added uh, two waypoints. One is the user, which is the airport or the location we're currently on, sorry. And one is the, is the next uh, location. Uh, keep in mind that it doesn't add it as a destination. It simply adds it as a waypoint. Um, so if you want to add it as a destination, you can uh, push in the buttons here. So it was uh, Lima Foxtrot uh, Victor Lima. It will find it, then you will say enter, and then it has added it as a destination instead of a waypoint. So keep that in mind. If you do a direct to, it adds it as a waypoint location and not as a, uh, I would say, a real destination. So that, that's nice, right? So we can, can simply add it here and then, uh, then do it. Uh, what are the other options? Well, we can simply remove the waypoint and that will be 
in our case will be added back as a normal way or I would say as a destination will be removed but will be added as a waypoint again and based on this we can say okay we can remove it again uh, in some cases it requires you to do it twice and in this case it doesn't even allow us to delete it so fine for me uh, not a problem um, so what we're going to do next is instead of using the direct to option we're going to use the flight plan because what we just did is we used the nearest option to find the nearest airport and then use the direct to to uh, let's say plan a flight directly to the airport so if we're going to do flight plan there's one recommendation and that's to I would say pre-create the flight plan using one of the on online flight planner tools you've got the online flight planner.org you've got simbrief and I think it's recently um, released and it's I think it's not officially released it's still in a I would say in test phase uh, also flight sim.2 uh, which is I would say a pretty popular site for add-ons and mods and uh, now also as a, as a flight planner which you can use uh, doesn't generate uh, a lot of additional information uh, but it generates the flight plan itself which is uh, in most cases the thing which you're searching for so have a look at that a search uh, i will post a link in the uh, comment box uh, or in the video description so you can have a look at it so what i did is i planned a flight from courseville altiport to uh chambery a la bain uh, we're gonna visit one waypoint which is uh, lambda so we start with the adding the origin which is the departing airport right that's uh, lima foxtrot lima juliet and there it shows the information we're gonna hit enter uh, then we are gonna add an en route waypoint uh, and the en route waypoint oh, let's see if we can remove this one yes now we can remove it and that was uh, lima alpha mike delta oscar so lambda and then the destination is uh, lima foxtrot Lima Bravo, and that's uh, a la bas. And once that's being done, you can click on done, of course, and then it will uh, set the flight correctly. So if we if we would now go uh, back one page and go to the uh, flight plan, it will remain in there. That's good. Uh, and if you would open the VFR map by pressing the letter V from Victor, uh, then you will also be able to see the uh, flight plan. Uh, keep in mind it activates the first part of or first lag of your flight here as you can see so currently the uh, pink part is the activated part if for some reason you're flying and you decide to say uh, skip one of the weight points you can do that by uh, right clicking on the weight point and then say activate activate lag to weight point uh, by doing that it will uh, go directly to it uh, so let me try to do it doesn't like me today I'm gonna say right click on it and then say activate like waypoint looks like it only works oh you can see it has changed because now initially the the I would say pink arrow was between uh, Courchevel and Lambdo and now it has activated Lambdo and uh, Elebin so if we would do the same thing again, so click on uh, Couchevel again, and then would say activate, then it doesn't allow you to activate it anymore. Uh, oh, we did, as you can see. So now the original path has been, uh, I would say, assigned, and now the first leg has been selected. So let's assume that we're gonna make a detour, not via Lambda, but we want to go via LTP and then uh, back to uh, LFLB. That's something you can do you can press the insert after button and the insert after button will open the keyboard again and then you will be able to um, press the or punch in the new code which is a uh, lima uh, tango papa then hit enter and then you will see it has edited it but in this case it has edited it here so uh, you might want to uh, use another option, right? You can use either insert before or insert after. 
And depending on which option you select, it will either edit before the existing point or after. So if I select uh, insert after now, and here's LTP, and I, for example, add uh, Victor uh, November Echo, then press enter again. It has edited it at the end. So keep that in mind. It's not completely what you expect, but this allows you really to modify or uh, change the flight plan. So let's assume that we want to get rid of these uh, options again. We're going to say remove waypoint. And we're going to remove this one. And then we're back to, I would say, square one because now we've restored the original uh, flight plan. Uh, what are other options? Well, one of the other options is the uh, procedures. And the procedures are there in a few, I would say, methods. There's the departure one. Uh, not all airports do have, I would say, official de departure routes, right? Uh, but some of them have. Um, they are known as uh, the, inf the instrumental, instrumental departure. <laughs> Pretty hard word. Uh, but as you can see, uh, Courgevel doesn't have one. Uh, but if you would have one, you would be able to select the departure here and then select the runway. And that would allow you to, um, say, define the departure. The same thing is for the arrival and approach. So the pr approach, uh, you can see that in this case, uh, Le Bain has an ILS approach, a runway 18X. Uh, the transition is uh, Colo. And what we can do now is we can say, okay, hey, we want to load it or we want to load and activate it. The difference is load will simply add it to the flight plan, while load and activate will load it and directly activate it in the flight plan. Uh, here's the sequence. Uh, sequence is uh, Colo, then CI-18X, uh, then again CI-18X, and Foxtrot India 18X, and then runway 18. If you're instructed to use a different runway, you can uh, change it. Or for example, you can use the localizers or AirNav or another ILS. Or if you want to change the transition, you can change it by pressing the transition button, depending on if a different transition is available. For example, if we select runway 18 uh, Yankee, then we've got a different uh, a transition. There you can say it's a uh, uh, So let's uh, load it. And then, so, so now it shows it, right? So what now happens is that instead of flying directly to uh, the or destination, we're gonna follow some other fly plan or beacon, sorry, and then we're gonna fly back to the airport. Um, if we would go to the uh, fly plan itself, you will see that, uh, well, you would expect a normal piece have been added here, but it did not, so the question is, oh, here it is. So after it has destination, it will set the approach um, and the approach simply contains all the waypoints which you need to visit. And then after, let's say, a few miles flying, you will end up at uh, runway 18 of uh, the airport of uh, Elebain, and then you can make a successful landing. Um, going back again, did we, I would say, discuss most options? Well, not all of them. I think the, the WP info which gives the information. Uh, it's a little bit the same as the um, as the nearest, which also has the option, right? Because we selected it here and then we said airport info. A little bit the same. Uh, the same thing can be also done for the, the VORs, right? So we can say VOR and then uh, you can either edit that in the flight plan by using this button or set a direct route to the flight plan or direct route to the destination by using the uh, this button. Uh, as you can see, there's no way to get more information about the VOR. Uh, same thing is applicable to the intersection and NDB. Uh, let me show it. So you can only add it directly to the flight plan or you can set a direct route to it. So here ends this video. Uh, in this video, we looked at how to set up the flight plan manually using the uh, MFD in the Airbus H135 helicopter. Um, makes it easy, right? Because you may want to fly a specific direction or may want to fly a specific route. Then it's always easier to set up the flight plan using the flight, plan up, flight planner in the aircraft or in this case, in the helicopter. 
Uh, hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them uh, in the comment box below the video. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.